Hey, I'm Jeremy Rickard. I'm an engineer at Microsoft working on container supply chain security things. Today, we're going to talk to Tati about some really cool technologies from the Notary Project that can help you sign container images and be a little bit more secure. Stay tuned for more information. Hey, Tati, we're using a project that I think is called the Notary Project to sign our containers uh, as part of our build processes. Can you tell us exactly what that project is and how it works? Uh, sure. So uh, Notary Project actually was created uh, quite a while ago. So I, get, I joined the community about a year ago, uh, but it is much older. So it was initiated around, uh, uh, I believe, 2017. Uh, that's when kind of the uh, it got created in GitHub. And it was uh, related to kind of the original based uh, notary implementation and docker content trust so that's how it started um, however there were certain challenges with kind of the uh, original turf based implementation and the biggest challenge was that you cannot sign images and copy them to another registry right so your signatures are tied to the registry where the container images are currently stored uh, i believe a couple of years after that uh, folks decided that uh, we uh, they need to make that more flexible. And uh, the goal was to create actually a specification for the signatures that can be used uh, between different tools. So uh, Notary will not be the only one signing those uh, container images. And also allow that, uh, for example, these signatures can be portable between registries. Um, and there were kind of some discussions quite uh, uh, working on the uh, specifications. So uh, when I joined last year, actually, uh, there was a lot of progress made on that. And for the last year, uh, we managed to not only complete the specification, but also get a reference implementation in the form of uh, CLI called notation, as well as we have notation libraries that can be used by other open source tools or proprietary uh, vendor tools uh, to actually create signatures uh, that comply with the specification. So I, I actually used the old version or the previous version, I guess, of the notary project. Yes. And it, it had a lot of components and it was kind of complicated to use. Uh, it, is that the case with this version too? No, with this version actually is uh, very simple and I'll be happy to demo that uh, uh, how you can go and sign an image, container image, uh, very easily with uh, uh, the notation CLI. That sounds pretty exciting. Uh, before we see the demo though, is this just a Microsoft project? Who else is working on this? I, open source generally has a lot of different people coming. No, in. no. So uh, Notary Project is uh, right now the big uh, companies that are collaborating on that are Microsoft, AWS, or Amazon, and uh, Docker. But uh, of course, we have uh, uh, people from other companies and uh, external contributors that are very interested in that. Uh, we have, uh, for example, folks from uh, uh, Venify who are interested to uh, implement plugins for notation, and we can talk about that maybe uh, uh, later on. Uh, we have also uh, uh, smaller companies that are interested to sign their, their images. Uh, we are collaborating with Harbor also, uh, which is one of the registry vendors. So it's not only Microsoft. So there are many more uh, participants in the community. That's really cool. I, I love the, the community aspect that you just highlighted on there. Uh, this all sounds really cool. Can you show us a, a demo of how this works? Oh, yeah, certainly. So uh, let me switch to... Uh, my my screen so uh the first thing i will start is i'll set some environment variables because i don't like uh kind of typing uh, so much so what i'm gonna do is i have a, a test repository in github container registry uh and i have a, a image there uh, which has the demo uh, v1 tag and i'll set the environment variable for the uh, notation location on my machine. So this is on a Mac and it's in the library application support. So uh, the next thing that I will do is let's see what I have available. Once again, the test image, we use a tool called Auras to go and actually browse information in the uh, repository. So what Auras will do is we'll go and actually pull the available tags for the test image. I have notation installed and I have a, a RC7, which is the pre-release version. 
And I'll show that I don't have any keys configured to, to do a signing. So what we will go through is we'll go through how can I uh, create a very simple uh, signing key, how I can actually uh, sign an image and how I can verify this image. Okay. Any, any questions or should I go get started with that? Well, I have a quick question. Uh, sure. You're using GitHub's container registry. That's that's pretty neat. Does this work on a lot of other registries? Can I can I use this on a, a registry that I'm hosting in maybe my AirGap cloud? Uh, of course, uh, you can use it as long as the registry is OCI, OCI 1.0 compliant. Okay. So if it is 1.0 compliant, then you can you can use that. Okay. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and actually uh, generate a test key. So I'll generate a test key. This is our first uh, first run experience. Uh, the test key is called Wabbit Networks. So uh, that's a, a, a fictitious brand that we use. Uh, there is a convenient command that you can use in notation just to generate the test key. And together with the test key, it also generates a certificate. So when I run the command, generates the key, you can see that now I have the key available. So this is the key that I generated. It is set as the default key, and you can find it on your local machine. Now, uh, word of caution here. So this experience is only for, for testing uh, notation, right? We do not recommend using the test key actually to assign your production images. Uh, we can go through the production experience uh, later on, but uh, this is how you can very easily get started with uh, notation CLI. As I said, together with the test key, there is also a certificate created that can be used to verify the images that you are signing. So once you do that, the only thing you need to do is you need to say notation sign. You can choose the uh, signature format. We support two different signature formats. One is the COSI, and the other one is JWS. Uh, both, of course, have uh, uh, different uh, applications, and you can choose between those. Uh, the COSI one, uh, we're looking at more kind of a, a, a broader uh, application on this type of signatures. Like, for example, COSI is developed for IoT workloads, and it's very uh, performant and efficient format. So the only thing you need to do after you have the test key and the test team uh, certificate, you need to also sign it, right? Once I do that, the image that is in uh, GitHub container registry is already signed. So I can list this. You can see that this is the image. We always identify the image by its digest. And this is the signature that is attached to the image after we do the signing. So any questions so far, or we can go and actually look at the verification, how we can do the verification. I want to see the verification. Let's go. OK. Uh, the one thing that uh, you need to do before you do a verification is you need to create a trust policy. So in this trust policy, you specify uh, what exactly do you trust, right? And because this is my kind of first, first run experience with notation, I'll just create a simple trust policy that I will trust my uh, test key. Uh, uh, the trust policy is a simple JSON file that needs to be put in the location where notation is. And uh, as I mentioned, so it has the trust policy name. Uh, it specifies which repository this trust policy uh, applies to. And you can put more than one repository here, right? So if you want your uh, the key that you are signing to be trusted for multiple repositories, you can actually put them here and uh, uh, also specifies which certificate is trusted. So once I create this trust policy, I can just run notation, verify the image, and you will receive that this is successfully verified. So that is how simple it is to actually sign and verify images using the notation CLI. Uh, that's really cool. It didn't seem like there were a lot of moving parts there. Could I maybe have different policies for different registries? You said you could have multiple registries for that policy. If I want to yeah. have a different cert for different ones, can I do that? Yeah, certainly. So the trust policies, you can have as many trust policies as you want. And uh, you can have for, let's say, your test uh, registry, your production registry, your development registry. You can create different trust policies, and you can use different keys to sign the images that actually go to these registries. and then. Uh, respectively verify them on any uh, uh, runtime or, or workloads that you deploy. 
that's really cool. I'm uh, I'm excited to learn more about this as, as we go go a little deeper later on. Oh, certainly. I'll be happy to maybe uh, show you how you can do that in production and how you can develop uh, plugins in the future. Cool. That sounds great.